Let's go into the word of God in prayer. Father, thank you. Isä kiitos. For giving us your word. Lord, we value your word. And precious Holy Spirit. Teach us today. Make the word so alive. Let every word. Pierce our heart. And divide the soul and the spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you like the Gospels? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. In the Gospels, you find Jesus as he really is. It's amazing when you just read through the Bible, you find out. Because Jesus only did what he saw his father do. So in in him, you see the nature of God. You see the heart of God. He was compassionate. He was loving. He was good. Amen. Amen. And he, gave the give, he came to give us life. Ja tuli he says actually in John 10, 10, life, life more abundant. 10, 10, hän sanoi, että elämä ja Amen. Amen. Say this as a declaration over your life. Sano tämä I'm living the life. Minä elän elämää. And I'm living it more abundantly. Ja elän sitä in Jesus' name. Jeesuksen nimessä. Amen. Amen. So there's a real life on todellinen elämä, that the Lord has for you. Joka Herralla sulle on. There's, a, there's peace on rauha, and there's joy. Ja ilo. And as you leave today from this gathering of the saints, kun, really, kun tänään <laughs> lähdet pyhien kokoontumisesta, as I said, you'll take your head with you. Kuten sanoin, niin pääsi lähtee mukaan. And if your, if your thinking can be straightened out, ja jos ajattelusi voitaa oikaista, it's going to help you tremendously. Se sinua. Many times people are alone with their thoughts and that's when the trouble begins. On yksin kanssa, ja siinä I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand. En pyydän nostamaan kättä. I'll ask you to raise your hand later on the positive side. Pyydän sitä myöhemmin, kun pyydän myönteisiä puolia. Amen. But Jesus really came to do good. Jeesus tuli tekemään hyvää. Heal. Deliver. He forgave. He was compassionate. He worked hard. Jesus worked hard. He worked around the clock. And then he told his disciples, let's take a little break. Then he saw the multitudes, let's take care of them first. He, he wasn't self-centered. He was looking. He was compassionate. He was loving. And he desired to set people free. He didn't come to bind people up. He came to set people free. And a lot of our, in our thinking has to do with our traditions. It has to do with our culture. Kulttuurimme. Religion, Uskontoon. and then people's opinions. Even if you don't want to listen to what some people say, just because you're walking so close to them, you hear what they say, and those thoughts can stuck with you. Get, get stuck with you. Who's ever had that happen to you? Somebody was sharing about something. They weren't even your. Fr- they weren't even talking to you. You're, you're on your way to get your second cup of coffee. In the city. And somebody said something, and you're like, ah. Oh. oh yeah. The economy is going, 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 going really bad. Somebody telling somebody how bad the economy. And now you're thinking, oh no, what's going to happen to me? So it's so easy to pick up on those things. We need to be washed by the water of the word. That's what the Bible says in Ephesians 5. God is a good God. Jumala on hyvä Jumala. And that is actually a great starting point for the renewing of your mind. Ja tämä on hyvä lähtölaukaus mielen uudistukselle. That God is a good God. Että Jumala on hyvä Jumala. Jesus didn't go around causing trouble to people. Ei Jeesus aiheuttanut vaivoja ihmisille, hän kiertänyt niitä He came to set people free. Vaan hän tuli vapauttamaan ihmiset. Amen. Amen. And your mind can actually cause you to become almost like non-effective. Mielesi voi saada sinut jopa olemaan tehoton. You know, I don't want to keep asking how many of you had that happen to you, but... <laughs> but it's like the Lord is prompting you to do something. And then in your mind, it's like... 
comes a thought. Tule ajatus. What about this? Entäs tämä asia? How about this? Entäs tämä asia? What about that? Entäs tuo? And then it seems like that excitement that you had in the presence of the Lord is disappearing. Ja se innostus, joka sulla oli Herran edessä, niin se tultuu kaikkoavan. So in a way your mind can diffuse what the spirit is speaking to your spirit. Mielesi voi siten tehdä tyhjäksi, mitä henki puhuu hengelläsi. Because your mind is not in line with God's word. Koska mielesi ei ole linjassa Jumalan sanan And then it's like an anchor holding you back from where God wants to take you. Se on kuin ankkuri, joka estää menemästä Jumalan haluamaan suuntaan. It's like God is prompting you to do something. Vai niin kuin Jumala antaa herätteen tehdä But jotakin. But then there's all kinds of things that pop into your mind. Mutta kaikenlaista ajatukset juolahtaa mieleen. You have to deal with your thoughts. Sun täytyy käsitellä ajatuksesi. It's your head. Kyse on omasta päästäsi. You can decide what goes on in there. Voit päättää, mitä siellä tapahtuu. As a born again child of God. Uudessa syntyneenä Jumalan lapsena. You have dominion over your mind. Sillä on hallinta valta mielessä. And like I said, you always have your head with you. Sanoin sulla aina oma pääsi mukana sinä. So sort it out. Amen. Laita se ojennukseen. Joyce Meyer writes in her book, The Battlefield of the Mind, this way. Joyce Meyer kirjassa on mielen taistelukenttä kirjoittaa. Is is she says that your life may be in a state of chaos because of years of wrong thinking. If so, it is important for you to come to grips with the fact that your life will not get straightened out until your mind does. Kirtaa elämäsi saattaa tänään olla kaauksenomaisessa tilassa vuosien väärän ajattelun seurauksena. Jos tämä on tilanne, on ensiarvoisen tärkeää, että ymmärrät sen tosiasian, ettei elämäsi suoristu ennen kuin mielesi suoristuu. A, so- a songwriter and psalmist David Ingalls Laulun tekijä ja psalmien kirjoittaja David Ingalls By the way, he has amazing songs. Jolla on mahtavia lauluja. Very different music style that I used to listen to. Hyvin erilainen musiikkityyli kuin mitä aiemmin kuuntelin. Like from another planet. Ihan eri planeetalta. Looking at where I'm from. Katsoen mistä on peräisin. Musically. Musiikillisesti. But powerful anointed songs. Mutta voimallisia voideltuja lauluja. He, 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 he called thoughts. Hän kutsui ajatuksia. That tell you you cannot win. Jotka yrittää kertoa meille, että me voi voittaa. Uh, he called them enemies of life. Did you get that? That a thought that comes to you and says you're not going to make it. It's an enemy of life. I pray somebody gets a hold of this. Because this is this is going to help you Monday. This is going to help you Tuesday. This is going to change your week. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And Saturday. Because you have your thoughts with you always. So you can straighten them out. Amen? Amen. Enemies of life. If there's enemies in my mind, I want to get rid of them. I don't know about you. Sometimes we seem to, so this, oh yeah, a little thought that says I'm not going to make it. That, that's not a good thought. Se ei ole hyvä ajatus. That's not a thought from heaven. Ei se ole ajatus that's a thought from hell. Vaan ajatus helvetistä. And I'll take the silence as the Lord's dealing with somebody. Ja otan tämän hiljaisuuden sen merkkinä, että Herra puhuttelee jotakuta. One man of God that I greatly honored and honor. Eräs Jumalan mies, jota suuresti kunnioitan. Already gone into his reward. On astunut jo palkkionsa. T.L. Osborne. T.L. Osborne. He was sharing on the subject that what he really believes. Hän jakoi siitä, mitä todella uskoo. He had an incredible message on what do I really believe. Hän oli mahtava sanoma siitä, mitä todella uskoo. We've actually shown it in the Bible school, because it's so awesome. Olemme näyttäneet sen raamatukoulussa, niin mahtava. He was such a unique man of God, a oli beautiful niin person. Oli niin ainutlaatuinen. We had an opportunity to meet with him about 20 years ago. Incredible man of God. But he said that what I really believe, one of the things that he said, he, I really believe is peace. That there is a real peace for a child of God. That Jesus brings real peace. Peace that passes all understanding. Other thing he said he believes is power. There's real power in the Holy Ghost. That breaks every yoke. If you came bound today, there's power in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord has anointed me Herra, with the Holy Ghost and power to set the captives free. Amen. 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 So there's peace. On siis rauha. You, you, that's in the Bible. So raamatussa. Jesus left the, his peace to us. Jeesus jätti rauhansa meille. We can really, and I really like that message that Brother T.L. preached. Ja pidän suuresti sitä veli T.L. What do I really believe? Mitä todella uskon? 
He said, I believe in peace that Jesus can give you. And power of the Holy Spirit. And finally, a purpose that you are blessed to be a blessing. There's a purpose in your life. He's given you peace. He's given you power. And he's given you purpose. Isn't that wonderful? John 14, 27, go there with me. I'm going to read to you from the Amplified Classic and I have a free translation to finish for this as well. Amplified John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My own peace I now give and bequeath to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Stop allowing yourself to be agitated and disturbed. And do not permit yourselves to be fearful and intimidated and cowardly and unsettled. Johannes 4.27 amplified sitä vapaasti kääntäen. Rauha minä jätän teille. Minun oman rauhani annan nyt ja luovutan tai testamenttaan teille. En anna mitä maailma teille antaa. Älä anna sydämesi tulla levottomaksi. Älä pelkää. Tee loppu sille, että sallit itsesi kiihtyä ja tulla vaivaantuneeksi. Äläkä salli itsesi pelätä tulla vajennetuksi tai huolestuneeksi. Halleluja. Isn't that awesome? Ego mahtava. That's the life that he has for us. Tämä on elämä, joka hänellä meille on. That's the life that he has for us. Tämä on elämä, joka hänellä meille on. Who, who is he talking to? Kenelle hän mahtaa puhua? His disciples. Opetuslapsille. Don't, and how do we get stressed? How do we get troubled? How do we get all these things and get overwhelmed? Kuinka stressannumme ja vaivannumme ja koemme, että kaikki on aina niin ylitse. It's a sneaky thought. Se on semmoinen juonikas ajatus. That comes in. And says, I don't think this is going to be a good week. No, last week was good. This week will be better. Hallelujah. I'm not going to allow my heart to be troubled. En salni, I'm not going to allow myself to get agitated or disturbed. Anna, anna tulla tai Who would say that I think I'm going to make good decisions as I keep myself in the peace of God. You don't have to raise your hand again, but I'm sure you have a few instances that when you got the stress agitated and overwhelmed by something and then you made a dumb decision. So he, he's called us to walk in his peace. And it, it, it's regardless of the situation. It can be a storm. And you're at peace. Ja olet silti levollinen. On the outside, like the Macedonians we read about. Kuten nämä makedonialaiset, joista luimme. They had all the reason to be complaining. He oli kaikki mahdolliset syyt valittaa. But they were looking to be a blessing. Mutta he halusivat olla siunaukseksi. They had a different way of thinking. Heillä oli erilainen tapa ajatella. God's grace was, was, was there in the church. Jumalan uh, armo oli seurakunnassa. And they were looking to be a blessing. Ja he halusivat olla siunaukseksi. Despite of their circumstances that were not good. Olosuhteista huolimatta, jotka eivät olleet hyvät. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now go with me to Hebrews 4 and 12. Hebrews 4 and 12. This is from the New Living Translation. For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between the soul and the spirit, between joint and the marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. Hebrews 4 and 12. Jumalan sana on elävä ja voimallinen ja terävämpi kuin mikään kaksiteräinen miekka. Se tunkee läpi, kunnes erottaa sielun ja hengen, nivelet ja ytimet ja tuomitsee sydämen ajatukset ja aikeet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that word is the standard. Tuo sana on mittapuume. That word as that word comes. Tuo sana saapuessa. It divides. Se erottelee. The soul and the spirit. Sielun ja hengen. And the intents and the thoughts. Ja sydämen ajatukset ja so aikomukset. So we can have, you can think right. Voit ajatella oikein. You can think right. Voit ajatella oikein. You can think right. Right. This coming week you can think right. For somebody today, Holy Spirit is helping you to find out, and the word of God is coming. You're, you're, you're finding out what is that thought from hell that's been holding you back. Some people, they go so well, they come into a meeting like last week and they're like, whoo! 
Joka tulee kokoukseen niin kuin viikolla, like, tosi innossa. Like on fire. Aivan tulessa. But then something happens. Mutta kun jotain tapahtuu. What happened? Mitä tapahtui? There was a sneaky thought that came in. Joo, niin kuin ajatus pujahti sisään. And because their mind was unrenewed. Ja koska heidän mielensä oli uudistumaton. That thought took them to the sidelines. Se vei heidät ihan sivuraiteen. Let me give you an idea. Nyt annan idean. It'll work to Tim Joste. Jos toimi Tim Jostelle. But it doesn't work for you. Mutta ei, jos sinulle se ei toimisi. Devil is a liar. Paholainen on valehtelija. God's word is true. Jumalan sana on tosi. If it works for one, jos se toimii yhdellä, it works for all. Se toimii God kaikille. is not a respecter of person. Jumala ei katso henkilöön. Maybe you're a lady today listen to me and say, well, Ehkä, Tim Joste, he's a man. Ehkä täällä naisena kuuntelut, Tim Joste, hän on mies. I'm a woman. Mä oon nainen, niin. Doesn't work for me. Ei toimi mulle. Devil is a liar. Paholainen on valehtelija. See, there's always something. Aina jotakin. And it's time that the word of God on aika sille, että sana. gets to wash. Saa pestä puhtaaksi. Say, I went to church. Sanot, että kävin seurakunnassa. And they talked about brainwashing. Ja siellä puhuttiin aivopesemisestä. <laughs> Some people's brains need like a long cycle in high heat. Joidenkin aivot tarvii oikein pitkän ohjelman ja korkealla lämpötilalla. Because you... you Some people's brains are so full of crazy stuff. Saturated with filth. And they need to be put into the wakka wapo wapo. Throw some bleach in there and laittaa sinne valkasuainetta. Everything and long program with high heat. Pitkä ohjelma ja korkea lämpötila. Somebody said, well, Pastor, what are you talking about? Pastori, mistä oikein puhut? You're in it. Sä oot siinä. This is the program. Tämä on se ohjelma. It's taking place right now. Se tapahtuu juuri nyt. Wham, 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 wham. Somebody says, is that, that's why I feel like this in my brain? Joku kysyy, että senkö takia muussa tuntuu tästä tavalla aivoissani? Kyllä. Your thoughts are getting straightened out. Ajatukseni oikaistuva aito. Well, you know, pastor. Pastori hyvä. When I was a young man, olin, kun olin nuorukainen. Something happened to me. Tapahtui jotakin minulle. My father, isäni. Locked me in the refrigerator. Lukitsi minut jääkaappiin. And ever since that day, ja siitä päivästä alkaen. I knew my life would not be normal. Tiesin että elämäni ei olisi normaali. You see I can behave the way I behave. Voin käyttäytyä tällä tavalla kun käyttäydyn. Because of the things that I've gone through. Niiden kaameiden koettelemusten tähden jota olen kärsinyt. I know the Bible talks about the fruit of the spirit. Tiedä että Raamattu puhuu hengen hedelmästä. But all my fruit they froze in that refrigerator. Mutta minun hedelmäni ne kylmettyivät sinne kylmäkaappiin. So I have a special license from Jesus to behave terribly. Siksi Jeesus antoi minulle eri vapauden käyttäytyä kaamealla tavalla. And I just keep doing whatever I want to do. Siksi teen mitä lystä. Whatever I feel like saying, I'll just say it. Sanon mitä, mitä mieli tekee. Hello, brother. <coughs> hey, veli. <coughs> All dates back to my childhood. Kaikki palaa siihen lapsuuden And tapahtumaan. those moments in the refrigerator. Ja niihin hetkiin siellä jääkaapissa. And that's the reason. Se on syy. Well, pastor, I'm weak. Pastori, olen heikko. What does Bible say? Mitäs Raamattu sanoo? Let the weak say, Heikko sanokoon. I am strong. Olen vahva. All these things are thought patterns that are not in line with God's word, which is the truth. Nämä kaikki on ajatusmalleja, jotka on, uh, ei ole linjassa Jumalan sanan kanssa, joka puolestaan on totuus. Well, Pastor, I'm more of an introverted person. No, Pastori, hyvä, olen enemmän tämmöinen introvertti. So am I. No, minä myös. But what does that get to do with anything? Mutta miten se liittyy yhtikäs mihinkään? I said, what does that get to do with anything? Miten se liittyy yhtikäs mihinkään? It's a wrong way of thinking. On väärä tapa ajatella. 
that says to the Lord, your word does not apply to me. Jos sanoo eräällä, että sinun sanasi ei minun päde. You have to repent. Sinun täytyy tehdä parannus. This is so good. I'm going to listen hyvä. to this myself. Kuuntelen tämän itse t- kotona. Because I need help this year. Tarvitsen apua tänä I vuonna. I need a new way to live. Tarvitsen uuden tapan ajatella. I need to change elää. consistent. Mutta täytyy jatkuvasti muuttua. Because we're going to a new level. Koska menemme uudelle That's tasolle. That's what it says on the wall. Amen. We need to keep changing. We need a muuttumista. fresh way to think. This is not 2020. Thank God. Kiitos Jumalalle. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you are you catching a hold of a little bit of what I'm saying? Like this is good stuff. Like some of you wouldn't know what to do with yourself if you would understand what I'm saying and actually applied it because you would be laughing all the time. Amen. Amen. Because you would realize that it's your thinking that has held you back. Thoughts of shame. Thoughts of guilt. Thoughts of worries and anxieties. Now, if, if you've been involved with something you should not do, jos olet ollut mukana jossakin, missä ei pitäisi olla, you have to repent. Täytyy tehdä parannus. And you have to confess your sins. Ja tunnustaa syntisi. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But in many cases, it's not even something that needs to be dealt that way. Monesti se ei ole asia, jota pitäisi käsitellä. Because what people have already done it. Ihmiset on jo tehneet sen. They cried out to the Lord. Ja huusivat Herran puoleen. They've already... But they feel that weight of that shame and that guilt on their life still. Listen what Psalm 32 and 5 says. Psalm 32 and 5. It says, finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord and he forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Psalmi 32 ja 5 vuoden 92 käännös. Minä tunnustin sinulle syntini ja en salannut pahoja tekojani. Minä sanoin, tunnustan syntini Herralle. Sinä annoit anteeksi pahat tekoni, otit syntieni taakan pois. Halleluja. Halleluja. All my guilt is gone. Kaikki taakka, sy- 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 The Finnish translation said, you took away the yoke of my sins. Olet pois syntieni taakaan. Amen. Is that good? Eikö hyvä? He forgives you. Hän antaa sinulle anteeksi. And he forgets. Ja hän unohtaa. So when you have dealt with that thing, kun olet käsitellyt sen asian, in other words, you repented. Toisaan olet tehnyt parannuksen. Now repentance is about turning around. Parannuksen teko on um, suunnan muutoksia. It's not just feeling bad that you got caught for the things that you did. Ei ainoastaan, että huono oma tuntui sitä, että et kiinni teoista. So you go in this way. Olet menossa yhteen suuntaan. And then you realize this is a wrong direction. The word of God has made it clear to me. I should not do this. So you don't say, oh, I feel so bad. But you don't change direction. But you turn to what the Bible says is the right way. Amen. Amen. Sometimes that's that's gonna that's gonna cost you something. Toisena joudut sitä maksamaan jotakin. It cost something to Zacchaeus. Se maksoi sakkeukselle. It can cost you something. Se maksaa jotakin. When you make it, I'm not gonna live the wrong way anymore. Enää enää elää väärällä tavalla. I'm gonna turn around. Vaan teen suunnan muutoksen. And I'm my eyes on Jesus. Ja pidän katseeni Jeesuksessa. I'm walking Jeesuksessa. with him. Amen. But when he has forgiven you, he actually forgets. So when you come to his presence, he doesn't say, you know what you did last year, I can't believe you just joyfully coming to me now. Sometimes we th- take those memories to the Lord and we feel bad. But Psalm 103 says in verse 12, As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Raamattu kansalla käynnös, niin kaukana kuin itä on lännestä, niin kauas hän siirtää meistä rikkomuksemme. Hallelujah. Now, as you see, there's wrong ways of thinking that can hold you back. The price was already paid for at the cross. 
You don't need to go to the cross again. Every year people even allow themselves to be crucified. Physically. You can't do that. Jesus already did it. You have to receive it by faith. So you turn your back to the world. You believe what Jesus did for you on that cross. And you allow the blood of Jesus to wash you. And say, Jesus, come be the Lord of my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And when you do that, his blood cleanses you, washes you clean, makes you spotless. Hallelujah. And sin no longer has dominion over you. Ja synti ei enää hallitse sinua. But then thoughts can come. Mutta ajatuksia voi tulla. So you have to learn to deal with those thoughts. Siksi tulee opetella käsittelemään ne ajatukset. Many even believers they go by how they feel. Voit uskovatki toivat sen mukaan mitä 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 tuntuu. If you would ask them, you know, what's going to happen this coming week? Jos kysyt että mitä tulevalla viikolla tapahtuu? They say I don't really know. Etenpä tiedä. Well, I don't feel too optimistic about this week. Smith Wigglesworth continuously would say, I'm not moved by what I feel or see. I'm moved by the word of God. So you got to learn to trust the word of God. Say, but pastor, I made a mistake. Everyone here has made a mistake. You don't need to repeat it. Amen. Amen. Everyone has made a mistake. But some have moved on. And says, blood of Jesus has cleansed me. I got something I did not deserve. I got the abundance of grace. And I received the gift of righteousness. And now I am a new creation in Christ. And I have a new way of thinking. I'm winning. This is going to be a good week. Lord is with me. There's more with me that are, are against me. Lord has began a good work in me. He's going to bring it to fulfillment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The greater one lives on the inside of me. Devil is in trouble. I'm blessed. And I know it. And I even look good. I'm talking about you. Puhun sinusta. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I sound good. Kuulostan hyvältä. Amen. Amen. Some of you looking at me like, you crossed the line, pastor. Osa täällä katsoa, että nyt kyllä menit liian pitkälle, pastori, hyvä. You, get a, you, you need, I'm, I'm provoking something here. Provosoin tässä jotakin. I'm provoking something here. So that you would challenge yourself to see things and, and the way you think. You know, you, you can feel like, oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not worth anything. Sometimes in the ministry, that's what the mo emotions you go through. Because you try to do everything, but then like... And it's like you can have nine people that are doing so good in the church. But then one person is like, Jesus help me. And then it ruins your whole day because you feel so bad because that one person. But nine people were like blessed. But one person. And you don't even know what's going on in that one person's life. But then you, if you go by emotions, because the more people you deal with, more, more chances you have to be offended. So when you're dealing with people, you got to realize you're not moved by what you see. So I actually took out this verse from the Bible, from 1 Timothy 5 and 17. That God says... In his word, that I am worthy of double honor. I don't always feel like it. Sometimes I feel like I'm worth I'm no honor at all. I, I feel like, but I'm not going but how I feel. I am thinking in line with God's word. I didn't come up with it. 
En minä sitä keksinyt. God said it. Jumala sen sanoi. I am working and laboring God's word and in the Teen ministry. Työtä Jumalan sanassa ja palvelutyössä. And Bible says I'm considered a double, worthy of double honor. Ja Raamattu sanoo, että olen kaksinkertaisen kunnian arvoinen. I'm using this as an, as an example. Käytän tätä esimerkkinä. You have to get real. This is not what you would call a normal church. We are with some nation shakers today. And how dumb would it be after God has put greatness in you and called you with his heavenly call that one stinky thought would keep you away from what God has for you. You realize that Even mental institutions, there's so many people in them. People who thought that they have committed the unpardonable sin. So they're like, oh, I, I, can, I can never be saved. Devil lied to them. I said the devil lied to them. And they are valuable people. <laughs> And By the power of the gospel, we can say, Lord loves you. He has not forgotten about you. You haven't committed the unbarnable sin. Because if you would have, you would not be concerned about committing the unbarnable sin. But the enemy is a liar. And he has lied to you. And the is a liar. And that same way many minds are bound. Samoin monet mielet ovat sidoksissa. And Lord wants to set people free. Ja Herra haluaa vapauttaa ihmisiä. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray. Rukoilen. That you have boldness. Että sulla on rohkeus. To confront some of these crazy thoughts. Kohdata joitakin näitä hulluja ajatuksia. And it takes humility. Ja se vaatii nöyryyttä. When you bow down before the King of Kings. Kun kumarut kuningas ja kuninkaan edessä. Say Lord. Ja sanot Herra. I have been an idiot. <laughs> Olen ollut idiotti. I've been thinking wrong. You loved me so much. You changed my life. And my thoughts have been in the wrong. It, it, my thoughts have been contradicting what you did to me in your work of redemption. I'm so sorry, Lord. I'm repenting. I'm going to think different. I didn't deserve it. But you gave it to me as a gift. I'm going to have good thoughts. I feel like we're on to something here. Like something is happening. Something is happening. Is happening. Hallelujah. 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 Enemies' lies are being exposed. Some people even stay in sin. Jotkut jäävät syntiin. Because they believe the lie. Koska uskoivat valheen. And then they're like, it doesn't matter. Ja ajattelee, että ei sillä ole väliä. I can never get back, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and live in, in, the, in the world. Takaisin, the niin enemy is a liar. Vihollinen on valehtelija. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In a moment we're going to pray. Hetken sisään rukoilemme. If that's been you, Jos tämä on ollut sun I want to lead you in a prayer. Voi odottaa sut Lord's rukoukseen. Change your life today. Herra, the power tämän. of the enemy will be broken from your life. Voima murretaan And from sisi. today on. Ja tästä päivästä alkaen. I'm so excited about this. Olen niin innoissani tästä. Or maybe I'm just preaching to myself. Ehkä vain saarnaan itselleni. Maybe you are already that advanced that you don't even need this. It's just Ehkä for me. Niin edistyn, että tätä. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Kiitos, Herra. Hallelujah. What are the lies that the enemy has been telling you? Mitä valheita vihollinen on sinulle kertonut? <sighs> Sometimes we think that Lord will do it all. Toisena ajattelen, että Herra tekee kyllä kaiken. But th that's not how it goes. Mutta ei se niin tapahdu. Mark 16 talks about Lord working with them. Markus 16 puhuu siitä, kuinka Herra vaikutti heidän kanssaan. Lord was working with them. Toimi yhdessä heidän kanssaan. Amen. It wasn't just the disciples. Ei enää saa opetuslapset. But it wasn't just the Holy Spirit. Eikä vain pyhä henki. Otherwise we could send the Holy Spirit to get people saved and we just... Mutta voisin laittaa pyhän Hang out over here. Sitä suoraan, että me vaan It's not the Holy Spirit alone going yksin. to the nations. It's Meidän you. With the Holy Spirit. Kanssa. But if you have crazy thinking, Jos on ihan hullua, you're just like, oh, I'm just resting in the Lord. No, you're lazy. Herrassa, mutta oletkin laiska. 
I said you're lazy. You don't want to get out in the bed. On Monday. You're a bum. Olet pummi. No claps. Ei siihen aplodeita tullu. But I'm just saying that to show a point. Haluan tällä havainnollistaa. How you thinking? Se miten ajattelet? Can make you unproductive. Voi tehdä sinut epätuottavaksi. It's like praise to the Lord has blessed my hands. Ei Herra on siunannut kättä ja My feet. Jalkani. My life. I'm Elmani. blessed. Elmani. Olen siunattu. I'm gonna I'm gonna attack Monday. Aion hyökätä maanantai kimppuun. Wake up early. Herää varhain. I'm gonna I'm gonna go so hard at I don't even have time to think anything wrong. Ei ees aika riitä ajatella mitään väärää. Shakarabasa. Some of you are thinking, where is this in line with the Finnish labor laws? Joku tässä miettii, että miten tää on linjassa Suomen työlainsäädännön kanssa. That's your problem. Se on sun ongelmas. Amen. Cast that stronghold out of your life. Aio se linnake ulos mielestäs. Amen. <laughs> and there's many other assumptions. Challenge your thinking process. Where does it come from? If it's in the word, stay with it. If it's not in the word, change it. This is good stuff. Okay. I'm getting blessed myself. And the good news is this. And I'll, I'll finish with this, this final tämän. verse from Romans 12. Romans and verse 2. Romans 12 and 2. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. This is from the New Living Translation in English. But let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Tämän maailman ajan menoa, vaan muuttukaa mielenne uudistuksen kautta, jotta voisitte tutkia, mikä on Jumalan tahto, mikä on hyvää hänen mielensä mukaista ja täydellistä. Say this with me. Sano kanssani. I can do all God tells me to do. Sano, voin tehdä kaiken, mitä Jumala käskee minun tehdä. If it's in the word, jos se löytyy sanasta, it's from me. se on minua varten. I'm a child of God. Olen Jumalan lapsi. If the Bible says it, jos Raamattu sen sanoo, I can do it, voin tehdä I can sen. say it, I can be it. Voin olla se. And I can think it. Ja voin ajatella sen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I feel like some people, it's like, the, the, people's mind for some people is like their final uh, private area. Joilla, kuule, that mieli, they have not turned over to the Lord. Mieli on se viimeinen yksityisalue, jota ei anneta Herralle. Pastor, I dressed for Sunday. Pastori, pukeudun kyllä sunnuntaita varten. I fixed my hair. Laitoin kampauksen kuntoon. I even put a tie on. Laitoin vielä solmionkin kaulun. Never had a tie, but I put one on today. En normaalisti käytä, mutta tänään sen laitoin. I got everything fixed on the outside. Kaikki ulkoisesti kunnossa. But I want to think what I want to think. Mutta haluan ajatella ihan mitä lystään. I want to think whatever I want to think. Haluan ajatella ihan mitä mä lystään. My thoughts. Mun ajatukset. My precious. No. Mun kallisarvoista ajatukset. It's like the final area. Se on kuin viimeinen alue. That some people are holding on. Johon ihmiset tarraa kiinni. Think what's pure. Ajattele puhkaasta. Think what's holy. Mikä on pyhä. Lord in his word would never tell you to do something you could not do. Herra ei sanassa ikinä pyytää sinua tekemään jotain mihin et kykenisi. But when the word is believed. Kun sana uskotaan. It includes the power to deliver everything that is talked about. Siihen sisältyy voima vapauttaa kaikkea mistä puhutaan. This is so good. Tämä on niin hyvä. <laughs> so you know it's the Lord because I'm even getting blessed. on herrasta kun tulee itsekin siunatuksi. I'm just the messenger. Olen vain sanan saattaja. Getting blessed by the message myself. Sanomas siunaa minua. Amen. Hallelujah. And I really believe we're on to something. Ja uskon että olemme tässä nyt jonkun One hyvällä. of the keys. Johonkin. Yksi avaimista. For this nation that we love so much. Tätä kansakuntaa varten jota niin suuresti rakastamme. Unlock the potential that God has given us. Vapauttaa potentiaali joka meillä on. That when you leave today, lähdet, there'll be new freedom, on uusi vapaus, new peace, uusi rauha. and God will help you. Holy sinua. Spirit will help you to find out those things that are not in line with His Word. Amen. Amen.
And then you can think differently. Ja sitten voit ajatella toisin. Hallelujah. So that when you are provoked että kun sinua provosoidaan or pushed, tai sysätään, good things will flow over. Hyviä asioita tulvii. That, that's how you can tell what's in there. Siitä näkee, että mitä sisältä löytyy. When you are provoked, if it's like, it's like, it's like uh, monsters are released. Or if it's the good things. Because you've taken the time to meditate on God's word. And you have God's word in your mind. Amen. Amen. I'm blessed. Olen siunattu. I do what's right. Tee, mitä on oikein. My, my mind is like a planning center for the kingdom. On niin kuin, uh, Jumalan valtakunnan suunnittelukeskus. God's given me a mission. Jumala on antanut mulle tehtävän. He's given me a direction. Mä antanut suunnan. And my mind is to be used for his holy purpose. Ja mieleni tulee käyttää hänen pyhään tarkoituksensa. Within the guidelines that my spirit shows uh, to niin use it for. Oh, ja nuoren mukaan mitä henkeni ohjaa minua. And I hold every squirrely non-straight thought captive. Ja vangit sen kaikki kiemurraiset epäsuorat ajatukset. <laughs> That was a good translation. Oli hyvä käännös. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then you notice. Sitten huomaat. Where did this thought come from? Mistäs tämä ajatus juolahtikaan mieleen? And then you're like, where did that come from? Ja mistäs tuot puolestaan tuli mieleen? And then you can deal with it. Ja voit käsitellä ne. Because some of you have taken thoughts like that and you've sat on that thing for three months and it, it almost took you out. Osa teistä on ottanut ajatuksia, että istun niiden päällä kuukausi kaupalla ja se on melkein sanonut pois pelistä. Mitä tapahtuisikaan, jos välittömästi deal with that thought. Ja käsittelisit sen ajatuksen And then just throw it aside. ja heitä syrjään, koska se ei ole taivaasta. I don't want anything here that's not from heaven. En halua tänne mitään, mikä ei ole taivaasta peräisin. Jesus redeemed me with his blood. Jeesus lunasti minut verellä. My brains are included. Aivoni on siinä mukana. In what he redeemed. Siinä mitä hän lunasti. I'm bringing myself as a living sacrifice. Tuon itseni elämänä uhrina. And I think what's holy, what's pure. Ja ajattelen sitä, mikä on pyhää ja puhdasta. What's pleasing to him. Mikä on hänelle mieleen. What pleases him. Mikä on hänelle mieleen. Faith. Usko. Faith. Usko. Thoughts. Uskon täytöstä ajatusta. It pleases him. Se on hänelle mieleen. When I think faith. Kun ajattelen usko. Speak faith. Kutsu, walk faith. And I walk in victory. How many of you want to be pleasing to your heavenly Father? And don't be discouraged. If maybe you discover today that hey, there's one area that I have not been doing it, the perfect job. Let's, let's see that area changed. Is that good? Amen. Because Lord has amazing things for us. Let's not. Let, don't allow the enemies of life. Älä anna elämän vihollisten. The thoughts that say that you can't win. Ajatukset, jotka sanoo, että et voisi voittaa. Stay in your Jäädä. mind that's been redeemed. Mieleesi, joka on lunastettu. Amen. The Lord redeemed me. Herra lunasti minut. Paid a price for me. Maksoi hinnan puolestani. I'm gonna bring my thoughts under Tuo, subjection to his word. Asetan ajatukseni alamaan, että hänen sanoo, se on minun vastuuni. I'm delivering my responsibility as a pastor to you by giving you this message. But then your responsibility is to hold those thoughts captive and change the way you think. What has held you back? And I'm talking to a room full of champions. This is like a gathering of champions. You are already doing amazing. But I'm telling you, there's another level. There is another level. What has held you back? What has held you back? That's why we need the love for God's word.